in the news now is a headline that <laughs> I just had to share with you and share my thoughts around the headline. And this is again from our favorite uh, New World Order inspired news network, which is News24. And it's for subscribers, but I'll cover it with you. It was also in City Press. But the headline reads, SA on high Zuma alert. You know, they've given Zuma so much power, Jacob Zuma. Uh, they don't specify which Zuma, but I assume it's him. He's in the picture in the article, and I'll put the link to the article below. They've given him so much power, just like they've given Julius Malema so much power, and many other people a lot of power um, to instill fear in people when they haven't said a word. And um, SA on high Zuma alert, really? Um, as far as I understand, you, News24 reporter on him being incarcerated, he must be one of the most powerful men in the world if he can control an entire country and what's happening in the country from inside a prison or even a hospital. Um, as I last reported when I said that uh, he was taken to hospital and um, the Zuma Foundation said that he's fine, he's in nice spirits, etc. And uh, yes, you know, this headline tells you so much about the narrative that's being driven. And this is the point that I want to bring across. So I don't want to labor this. You can go and uh, have a look at the link underneath uh, this video in the description. But it's, uh, this article has a picture of Jacob Zuma and it says, it says the National Police Commissioner Kela Setole has extended the deployment of the South African Police Service, uh, SAPS members to the two hotspot provinces to deal with potential protests ahead of former President Jacob Zuma's court appearance on Tuesday. They will be there until Saturday. And then they talk about people that uh, claim they didn't get payment for their special deployment and that there's special overtime that gets paid to the police. And a whole slip of things, obviously, it doesn't cost us state money, it costs us a whole lot of money. And once again, if any protest breaks out anywhere in the country right now, it's going to be blamed on Jacob Zuma. It's incredible how this narrative can be driven, how people can just fall for it. And um, I'm ashamed of the people that fall for narratives like that. You really have a mind that needs uh, expanding. You need to expand your mind and just start to think rationally. I always also would encourage you to seek psychological help because if one man is that powerful in any country um, that they can get other people to do things uh, that is illegal across the country uh, while incarcerated, my word, the entire world should, world should feel that fear that man. And he obviously then cannot be as stupid as people say that he is. Because I've heard people say that he's dumb, that he's illiterate, and all these other things. And yet, at the top of an article, we have a headline reading, Essay on High Zuma Alert. Really? Now, if you're dumb, you're illiterate, you're stupid, uh, you can't do anything properly, but the entire country fears you while you're incarcerated. Hmm. Yo, you can run the world. Really, it's incredible how people think. And the fact that people fall for things like this is pathetic. Uh, your mind, the way it works, is pathetic. And uh, I made a video on the word pathetic a while ago. And I've been pathetic many times in my life. And I have to keep on thinking of not being pathetic in what I do. And in this instance, I feel it's important to, to explain to people that being pathetic in the way you perceive the media um, is something you can change. You can stop being pathetic and you can actually become someone that can actually dissect things, think about things critically, uh, question things. Like when you see a headline like this, you know, if I had to go out on the street and ask any layman that's not informed, what does this mean to you? They'd probably tell you, and if you see some of the posts on Facebook, luckily I don't spend time there, um, other people tell me about them, send me links to it, and it's really annoying. Uh, these Facebook posts, when they say, what is Zuma going to do next? What is he going to do next to the country? People, he's where you begged for him to be now for the past 20 years. I've seen comments of people saying that he should have been in prison for the past 20 years. It's like they know him. They've seen the, 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 everything that's found him guilty before he's actually been charged in a court. 
he hasn't been on trial, okay, at all, for any of the things he's been accused of. So, the first thing I want to say is become human. Um, use the brain, un-Android yourself on, or, or un-Apple uh, yourself and actually start thinking like a human with a body that needs food, uh, that needs to do many other things, sleep, etc. Just a normal human being and start thinking like a rational human that wants to survive this world. And maybe if you do that, you will survive. Maybe if you don't, you will die. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's so great to see that there's so many people out there um, that understand what I'm saying. Uh, you don't have to understand what I'm saying, but there's many people that do. They make the effort to research things for themselves. They don't believe me. Um, they actually can look at obvious things. They can use logic and normal reason. And uh, yes, seeing an article like this, and there's a couple more that I want to cover tomorrow, but I just had to put that out there today. Tuesday, Jacob Zuma is going to go to court. And if you actually see what's happening in the Concord in the meantime, they have also submissions on uh, a UN covenant. And I actually find that very interesting. That suggests that some of the judges think they made a mistake, that they made an error in judgment. They certainly did. I mean, uh, what they did was an absolute farce. But that's that aside, that has nothing to do with Jacob Zuma. It has to do with what the Concord did. Not just that day, but two days later, when they made Cyril Ramaphosa walk, walk away scot-free in the CR17 campaign, where they're saying that it's okay for people to bribe and to, uh, to literally squander their, their way with money into being elected president, and then you must expect them to be independent. And the public has a right to know that. This is not about whether Cyril should go to jail or anything like that. It's about whether the public should know that his position was bought, that he didn't get there by merit at all. And I have evidence for that, ample evidence, real hard evidence that anyone can look at and see for themselves that it was a bought campaign. And um, all I can tell you is Jacob Zuma is not an idiot, as he's clearly not stupid and he's clearly not illiterate. In fact, he has now played his arm and the wheel is starting to roll exactly as I told you it would when that Concord judgment, not just judgment, but they actually sentenced him. Something a Concord shouldn't do. He set those wheels uh, in motion and it is all over the country. It cannot be stopped anymore. There's information in public hands now um, that will help us to change this country. And um, as I meet with you, I will show you this information firsthand, hard copy, so that you can see for yourself. And no, I don't want the hawks all over me uh, because I sit with real evidence with regards to CR17. They didn't seem too, too concerned with that because um, Cyril is a superhero, remember? But thanks for watching this video. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. And even consider joining. Many of you have joined now. We have over, uh, way over 700 members, going towards 800 members now. Soon we'll be at 1,000 members. And in that community, uh, just like earlier today, I gave you uh, my thoughts in a vlog. You'll be able to watch all the past videos as well as you'll be able to see the upload of the Point of No Return, that presentation. I'll be doing it Wednesday on 7 o'clock on Zoom. Please, pe people, please don't confuse Zoom with normal live streams. If I say I'm having a live chat or if I'm having a live stream, it's on YouTube. I will tell you if it's a Zoom session and how that session will happen. If I just put out Zoom links on Facebook, you follow the link, you come in and then you can watch that presentation. And then we're in a live meeting. And I only record these presentations to upload them for the members in the member section. So if you become a member, you'll have access to all the past sessions. You go to the members playlist and you'll be fine. You'll be able to find all the members videos there. So thank you very much for watching and thank you for your continued support. We need to uh, start building rational minds in the country. And at the moment, people have lost their minds. I mean, in so many different ways, shapes and forms. And this headline proves it. SA on high Zuma alert. Really, uh, it's, it's really pathetic. Um, I don't actually know what to think about this. Uh, for I, I could probably do an entire lecture just on 
this headline and what is behind it, the mindset that would make someone put out a headline like that. Uh, while this man is incarcerated, they have made him the most powerful man in the world. Thank you very much. Till the next video.